Hey folks, Doc here. It has been a crazy week or so for acquisitions. Uh, if you were watching the Sprockets Garage Facebook page earlier, I posted up a teaser pic of my trailer with an engine sitting on it. And I said, you know, something's happening. And people were taking stabs at what it was and yada yada yada. Uh, let me try and sum this up briefly in this intro. Uh, just when you think you're hitting streaks over, and you're gonna have to go a while without, you know, scoring anything cool. <laughs> Apparently, you get proven wrong. I'll try and keep this really brief here. Uh, my eight-year-old stepdaughter recently decided that she was interested in tractors and had asked if she could have something. So uh, I put a couple ads out on various Facebook groups, including the garage, looking for just a little lawn tractor that uh, that Sarah could muck about on. You know, something cheap and maybe needed a little love and whatever. Anyways, I got a few responses. Thanks to everybody that responded. Uh, <laughs> you know what? Heck, let's just get to it, okay? Okay, so Suburban Gorilla. As it sits, I haven't moved on that project. I'm still trying to get a couple of parts and trying to figure out a couple of things. You guys are familiar with Suburban Gorilla. Okay, fine. And you're familiar with Suburban Commando. It is running and driving. It's not complete. I still have some things I want to do to it, including paint. But that's okay. Right. Suburban, what? It's almost like the POS is back and worse than ever before. This thing is ugly. Probably doesn't show very well on camera, but the hood has been hacked and booger welded. I mean, there's supposed to be six louvers there. There's five, it's just been, yeah, just beaten on extra holes in the hood that don't belong there. I mean, look at the booger welds on that seat bracket. Yeah, somebody just, Ugly, eh? Anyways, I scored this thing for parts, and parts I got. Mostly it was a case of wanting another 633, because I'm bound to break one sooner or later, and it's always good to have parts. Anyways, yeah, it's like the POS is back worse than ever before. But I scored this thing for a reasonable enough price, and uh, what the hell, there it is. All right. So there you go. That was my suburb... What is that? <laughs> yeah, baby, it's another one. Uh, somewhere in the 73 to 75 range. I haven't run the numbers yet. Uh, SS16 Suburban, no engine. But uh, you can tell by the louvers in the hood and especially that little hump there that, uh, that it was an SS16 with the owner. And you can tell by the original color too. You can see it on the pedal and you know see it underneath in a few places where that orange spray paint is faded. Um, this thing is more or less complete. Uh, you can see that somebody hacked a notch in the cowl there. They did that on the other side too to get at the bolts underneath. Uh, people that were too lazy to pull the, uh, pull the cowl off to get at the bolts. Eh, it is what it is. Anyways, I'm missing a couple of pieces. I'm missing the parking brake handle. And, uh, I'm missing the tail light panel and the gas tank that would go back there. Not a big deal. I can deal with that. For the price, I, I stole this thing for what it was. Um, the grill. First off, that grill corner that's always missing, it's not missing, which is a nice little bonus. And I'll get you zoomed in real close here. You can see that, like all of these, that lower grill portion was broken. And somebody did take a whack at repairing it. Looks like they put in a piece of steel plate and did some fiberglass work. It's not the greatest work, but then again, it's not the worst I've ever seen either. Uh, so anyways, this thing was actually partially in pieces when I scored it. I just uh, just finished bolting the fenders on and a couple of other things just, uh, just to give you a better view instead of showing you a pile of Suburban. Um, so there you go, there's the, uh, the exhaust cut out on the, uh, on the right hand side for the, uh, for the Onan twin that would have been there. And uh, you can see by those long pieces of threaded rod sticking out of the wheels, um, you know, weights or whatever the case may be. Apparently the guy wanted to build, 
build a puller and it just never happened. Uh, he showed me his other puller project he was working on and uh, that was probably 80% done and I guess he just decided he didn't have the resources to dump into this. Uh, the seat didn't come with, I scored that in a separate deal today. But, what the hell, throw it on there for looks, there's a seat, boom, done. Um, so anyways, yeah, the uh, the biggest missing pieces is that uh, that tail panel, the gas tank. Which, I mean, truth be told, is I, uh, I took the gas tank at a commando. I could put it on this one if I so chose. So there you go, I was more than happy to score that. While I was running around scoring stuff, same guy, I got these Maxxis Bighorns. They are, oh, about that big. <laughs> I can't see the size right now. There you go. Uh, 26, 11, 12. There's not a ton of tread left on them, but they might be good for something. And since 12 inch five bolt wheels are so useful to me, I scored another set just with some turfs. And I got these for the rims. The tires are trashed, but uh, they're eight by seven five hole. And uh, later on, I'll tell you why I wanted those. Right place, right time, they just showed up. Also in re recent acquisitions, and as some of you saw in the trailer, is this 16 horsepower Vanguard Vertical V-Twin. Uh, this is a nice engine. Uh, pressure lubricated, there's the filter. And it's got one of the higher capacity charging systems on it. Um, I'm looking at that regulator rectifier there and I'm thinking that's the 18 amp one. Uh, there was a 20 amp system. I believe the regulator rectifier was a little bit different. Uh, I think it was closed in on the top side with just aluminum fins or something. Uh, there's a model type code on it. So it's 30 cubic inch. It was built in 92, March 27th in fact. Anyways, nice engine. Happy to have that. And finally got myself an 820 Peerless. Got some pretty cool 5 bolt hubs on it too. Yep, they do. Been trying to get my hands on an 820 for the longest time, and there it is. Nice. Very nice. Um, I can assure you... Coming in close, there's the tag. I can assure you that before too much time marches on, it's going to be dock locked. Why? Because I do that. So, anyways, that about concludes... Oh, would you look at that. Okay, so there was, there was stuff all over the garage the other night, and i got to show you this. This is a Murray, uh, and it's not quite as it appears to be. This was, uh, let me be back this up a notch. Um, when I put that feeler out for little lawn tractors for my stepdaughter to play with, a buddy of mine suggested that he knew where there was a Murray wide body available for fairly cheap, basically sitting in a heap. So I said to Steve, I'm definitely interested. So Steve, Steve said, okay, well, great, I'll score it for you. now." I'm not sure that this is a wide body. I don't think it actually is because it, it looks to me like those fenders are actually kind of narrow. But it's not even, doesn't matter, frankly. It's not even the model it appears to be. This was one of those bug-eyed Pontiac solstice hood looking things. And when I'm editing this down, I'll scab in video footage of the original hood. So Steve pulled it off the heap, slapped it on his trailer, sent me a picture, and I went, oh, damn, that's not exactly what I wanted. I really like these hoods. Anyways, he said to me that he had the hood that I desired, and he'd be willing to switch them. Anyways, we'll get into that stuff on another video. In fact, I think we're going to get into this project in a little more depth in another video. Um, but I just wanted you to have a look. Um, keeping a long story exceptionally short there's the hood brackets and when this hood went on in place of that bug-eyed solstice looking hood the hood was actually resting too far forward by about three inches in fact and in order to rectify it I took these brackets and uh, I re-drilled the two frame holes three inches further forward and then hacked off the difference and it bolted up pretty nicely so there you have it folks. I wanted a Murray to mess with because they're so common and popular and uh, people are always doing stuff with them and I wanted to do something with one uh, just so I could basically weigh in on it. 
So this is going to happen. Anyways, it's time for me to start tucking some of this stuff away. Uh, I just wanted to bring you up to date on the recent acquisitions. Um, it's okay to hate me. Sometimes I hate myself. <laughs> Anyhow, there will be another video coming very soon. Uh, I was hoping to do a weasel update this weekend. I'm not sure if that's going to happen, what with all this stuff that just landed at Area 51. There's definitely going to be another video this weekend. Anyways, till next time, take care of yourself. Thank you.